The creation of individual form. You know, too, that since the infinite eternal impulses are contained in a state of mutual restraint, these impulses are of an unimaginable intensity of energy, against which your atomic energy contained within the splitting of an atom is a mere poof, an infinitesimal twitch of no importance. I want you to fully realize all the foregoing, since your realization of what happened at the time of the Big Bang will give you a glimpse of what happened at the time of the sundering of universal consciousness to permit the creation of individual form to take place. Universal consciousness, consciousness was riven. Will and purpose. Father intelligence and mother nurturing love were exploded to work independently and also jointly. Their respective tools were electricity and magnetism. Out of the explosion of equilibrium came the great intent of self-expression. The universal awareness of being became the impulse of individualized I awareness demanding self-expression. Life and I-ness are synonymous in the dimension of matter. They became the consciousness of matter. What is the consciousness of life? It is Father Intelligence, Impulse of Movement, seen as electricity, and Mother Love, Impulse of Purpose, Nurturing, Survival, seen as magnetism in matter. Can you begin to imagine the explosion of consciousness, of awareness? To help you fractionally visualize what happened at the moment of the Big Bang, try to recall a moment when you also experienced an explosion in your consciousness. This takes place when you have set your entire being on achieving some very important goal. About to embark on your plans, in a state of excited anticipation, some trivial circumstance or insensitive person prevents you from achieving your heartfelt purposes. How would you feel? Your concentration would be split and you would explode. Here again, I must call on my recorder to think up some examples of my meaning in human terms, for the least earthly consciousness is drawn from universal consciousness. You are at the airport, excited and ready to fly for an unexpected holiday overseas. On reaching your travel bureau counter, you discover there are no documents or tickets and no record of any reservations for flight or holiday accommodation, although you have already paid for them by credit card. How would you feel? You are dressed in a very expensive outfit, whining and dining important customers, and are about to clinch a big contract worth millions. The waiter drops a plate of hot casserole on your head. How will you feel? You go shopping and come out to the car park to find the wheels and doors of your car have been removed in broad daylight. How will you feel? Sympathetically, you open your purse to give a whining, crippled beggar all your silver. But the man straightens up, forcefully snatches the purse from you, 
and runs like an athlete. How will you feel? In all these instances, you would have a strong consciousness enterprise to the very front of your mind. Your head would be filled with a plan to move out and do something to achieve a certain purpose, peacefully. Your intent would be interlocked with your purpose, therefore, in equilibrium. But note that there would be mounting tension of anticipation as you neared your goal. The greater the tension, the greater the explosion. You would, in fact, be in the same state as universal consciousness, awareness. Intent, father intelligence in equilibrium with the mother purpose to give being and form to the plan you intend to create. After your explosion, can you imagine the ensuing mental, emotional chaos, the inability to think straight, the thoughts which would come one after another, demanding expression, none of them sensible or logical? Try to realize that you, individualized form, are the microcosm of the macrocosm. You are a pinhead expressing universal consciousness awareness, either in equilibrium when you meditate in stillness of thought, or as active consciousness when you think and feel, plan and create. Therefore, if you can relate your tiny consciousness explosion to the explosion of the heavens, you will gain some small idea of the ensuing chaos, both momentarily, within the universal dimension, and in eons of time, within the newly created expanse of the dimension of matter, still in its formless state. Therefore, many of you will have to wholly rearrange your thinking in regard to creation. It started out as a condition of utter chaos. The universal impulses were divided. There were no blueprints to direct or control the beginning of individuality. The impulses were still without any conscious form or direction. They were natural impulses to perform certain distinct impulsive functions in consciousness, but they were not intelligently directed into specific movement or bonding by any higher directing force. They were on their own. Separated and lost impulses of consciousness awareness, able to receive impressions, but there were no impressions to receive other than those of interior chaos, of movement activity, of electricity, and bonding repulsion of magnetism. And this consciousness chaos was manifested within creation as chaos of particles. Within this expanse of chaos of electrical particles, however, there was the overriding awareness of I-ness. No matter what the chaos, the I-ness came through in the Father intent to move about, to take control, to create. The I-ness took initial form in a positive charge of electrical energy. It became the dominant I force as a proton with its satellite of negative electric charge, whereupon mother purpose of bonding was activated in those conditions of a positive electrical charge meeting a negative electrical charge. They took to each other, as one might say of the evolved male and female in living species, and bonded. Mother purpose of repulsion was also activated when two positive or two negative electrical charges looked likely to meet and react negatively. She stepped in and pushed them apart, 
just like her evolved female mother counterpart, would separate two unruly, highly charged ruffians about to engage in a fight. This was the only form of consciousness awareness within the chaos for a very long time, since time is of no consequence within the realm of matter itself. Time only becomes of importance when there occurs an impinging of conscious awareness between electrical charges resulting in bonding or repulsion, a progression of adjacencies, and events taking place and purposes to be fulfilled. Otherwise, time is meaningless. Creation is the product of primary impulses working individually and together, making impressions upon the other, fulfilling inbuilt needs imprinted within consciousness, these needs being, at the outset, to increase and experience self-expression leading to further separation, then to restore a sense of inner security and comfort, to be reunited within the harmony of universal consciousness. Out of this driving force for a reunited harmony of being came the male-female drive for reunion, to recapture the bliss which is buried in the soul consciousness. You could make an analogy of the foregoing paragraph with the habit of fathers going out to work in the morning and returning, hopefully, to the comfort and reunion with family in the evening, where he regains the strength to venture forth the next morning to do battle with the world. Therefore, the process of creation of universal self-expression took billions of years within time. To accomplish. After the Big Bang, the father mother creative process was divided into two different energies, continually working apart and together, independent yet mutually constrained to work together, having individual characteristics or natures, and different functions. Therefore, their workload was is different, yet indivisible. You already know, and by a process of meditation, should have fully understood the nature of the father and the nature of the mother within the equilibrium of the universal dimension. Briefly, the nature of the father is to be active, creative, and perform the work of creativity. It is also the iness of individualized existence. Everything living from a hornet to a hippopotamus has a strong sense of iness and the need to protect that iness. The, the nature of the mother is to give form to the electrical consciousness plan initiated by father intelligence by bonding the electrical particles together. Father and mother consciousness, primary impulses, are both within the equilibrium and of the nature of the universal dimension and consequently as they create individual form, they carry out the work of the nature of the universal dimension, which is growth, providing nutrition, nourishment, healing, protection, fulfillment of need within a consistent system of law and order, survival. Father and mother consciousness energies are impulses both restrained within the universal dimension and when they have been released from equilibrium they powerfully perform the work of creation. Furthermore, consider the magnitude of their work within creation throughout the world. The father-mother impulses prompt every level of creation 
from the formation of elements, the living molecule and cell, to the magnificent mammoth. They also work instinctually within parents to prompt them to unify, to conceive, bear, and rear their young. Some fathers absent themselves after the birth of their progeny, be they eggs, puppies, or humans. These are the fathers whose sense of I-ness is greater than their inborn fathering instincts. <laughs>